very small piece. All you did is transform the you just transform the objects into smaller objects. Right? Or whatever it is you want to do to it. Going back to this one, right? If we're talking about numbers and you just want to have them all times by two, the new array just did this to everything and transform those numbers into these numbers. I get confused with that too. I mean, I every time I'm thinking about math or I'm always like thinking that I'm filtering it, and I, I'll be like, "Oh, well, should I have done this?" And like, no, that's a filter. that's a filter. It's just, uh, yeah, like Tyler said, just a transformation from one thing to another. Let me think of a. If you were doing a Amazon, if you're on Amazon, and you did a search, right? Mm -hmm. You did a search for shoes. Mm -hmm. Amazon would filter all of its. It has this huge array of all of its products, right? It would filter out all the shoes, right? And then let's see. Men's shoes. Men's shoes would also be a filter. The map would be. That work? Yeah, because you're changing. You're changing, you're changing it. everything inside the map. I don't know what they would map for. I guess if you wanted a description of the shoes, and it was way smaller, like you didn't want to see like where it was built, and you don't want to see its, uh, you don't want to see its index number of which item it is in Amazon, and you don't want to know. How long it's been in stock? You just want to know the description. You would map it down to just a small description of the shoe, as opposed to a big description. Well, color is color and shoe size are both be filters too, right? You just be grabbing. But if you already had all the shoes and you just wanted to see those attributes, that would be a map for you. Let's see here. I'm going to... Oh, I can... I have an idea. Which one? Here's a, here's a here's a good example actually. All right, I think if I have a good example for this. Okay, see, see this? Uh, this is that project that I have that's a full stack application on the most basic level, right? Here's my form. I take in whatever form I have and I send it to the database by submitting it. If you look up here, here's my database, right? This database has the name, the address, the phone number, and it has an ID, right? This ID is just like a generated ID. And if I go to this page here, my people page, if I click on people, here's a list of all those people in my database, right? But check, check this out. 
that just has name, phone, and address. It doesn't have that ID, right? Because in my code, I came here and I took that array that came with this. So I pulled in this the data from my database over here, these pieces of data. I pulled them in, and when I mapped them, I says this dot state dot people dot map, and I just mapped them to people dot name, people dot phone, and people dot address, right? And the only reason I did that is so it just showed name, phone, and address. Does that make sense? So these have the ID on it. I don't want to show the ID, so I just map it down just to those things. What's the button beneath those things? This button. You have like an ID in that button as well. Oh, to delete it. So that's it. I mean, that's, that's pretty darn simple, I guess. I thought it was more complicated than that, but.